morning, everybody. I'm out here at the chapel early on a Saturday morning as I love coming out here and giving these devotionals. Uh, as I was mentioning last week, one thing I'm really, really excited about is tomorrow morning at the 1030 service. I'll be also mentioning the 9 o'clock service, but the 1030 service especially is a particularly special service to me, uh, which I think is going to be absolutely electric at the over here at the Cross School, is that all the graduating seniors that I've been so particularly close to these last four or five years, um, a lot of them are going to be at the service tomorrow. And the conclusion of the service, I'm going to bring them up on stage and say a prayer with them and say a few words about each of them. And my life is so much better because of them. Uh, when I showed up here eight years ago as a priest, uh, my calling was not to be a youth minister. Uh, I had done that for many years. I loved it, but my calling was different. And yet God seemed to open a door that I was not expecting, uh, that I was not looking for, but God opened a door and I walked through it. And my life has never been the same since. Uh, I have pushed against the idea, as I've said many times before, I've pushed against the idea that, uh, that young people of this generation, I hear many people say, especially older people, that they're lazy, they're entitled, um, they're not responsible. That is the exact opposite experience I've had with young people, especially the ones that we will see tomorrow. They're some of the most socially conscious, some of the most, uh, they will follow their convictions. They're anything but lazy. And my life is so much better because of them. And my hope is you see some of that tomorrow, that in many ways, what I'm talking about tomorrow is that they are lay, laying a legacy that's my hope for all of us that will echo into the future that the seeds they're planting and the seeds that you and I are planting are are growing something in a garden that you and I will never see but will be people centuries from now will be reaping and uh, that's what a legacy is and so uh, tomorrow we're going to be singing a song about legacy I think at the conclusion of the message that I want to kind of uh, add to the end of this video but tomorrow is a, is a culmination of a lot of things i'm also this next week taking my second oldest son to charleston southern uh as he is beginning his first year and he has been he is a son that i'm enormously close to uh many of you know will he's very gregarious he's very outgoing he's an extreme extrovert there's not a, he never meets a stranger. Uh, there's not a day that doesn't go by where he doesn't come in our room at nighttime and sit with us and lay in our bed and talk with Lisa and myself just about life and what he's going through. And now he's leaving and it's very hard. And this, this graduating class, they're all like my children too. It's very hard to watch them go and yet I know they're ready. Uh, the future is extremely bright for them. As I've said before, it is impossible, it is impossible not to feel hopeful when you spend time around young people. And these, these young men and women are the exactly the same. They uh, bring such hope, they give me such energy, and I believe you're gonna see that tomorrow. I hope there's a lot of you can be there tomorrow, you can sign up online, uh, but if not, you can always watch uh, online, as I think we'll be try to, we're trying to uh, put that service out online so i hope you can see it but keep all of that in your prayers uh i love you guys i miss you i look forward to seeing you again lord willing everything's been going on with covid uh we're going to get some answers to but if not you and i we will continue to worship god with everything we possibly have we'll continue to make a difference out in the community we'll continue to be a light to the community to live the light and the love that god's put in us that when people see that light they see god and they praise him in heaven. And that's my hope and my prayer for you. So I look forward to seeing you. You're in my prayers and I will talk to you soon. Love you guys.